The first Craftsman tools finally arrived, and a great big tool cabinet gets reviewed by a tiny little man. Now we find out what Australians think of Hilti, and then we're going to give away a bucket of tools from OPT worth $400. It's Friday, December 7th, 2018. This is your Cop Tool Week in Review. Just three months ago at their innovation event, Hilti introduced a number of new tools and technology, titillating the tool taste buds of Hilti bros around the globe, including our very own Aussie favorites, Mike and Dwayne of Oz Tool Talk. The duo get their hands on the Hilti 22 volt brushless impact driver, and they're excited about it. Well, this is gonna be nice, yeah. We agree, mate. The little Hilti that could packs a lot of features into its compact frame, including a brushless motor, four LEDs, three-speed motor control, and compatibility with Hilti's robust 22-volt battery platform. They like it, in spite of the higher-than-average price tag. After testing out on both wood and metal applications, it gets two Australian thumbs up from Oz, especially for its 20-year warranty. Nice indeed. Go see the complete review for yourself in the links below. Vince and the Very Cool Gang continue their meteoric rise to YouTube fame and glory with yet another TTR. That's Tool Test Raw for all you members of the Room Temperature Gang. But this time they switched things up by actually testing something that wasn't Milwaukee Red or DeWalt Yellow. Even more strange is the fact that these big battery lovers went small this week, testing out two 12 volt max impact drivers, the Makita DT-03 and the Bosch PS-41. Now Vince arrived as prepared as ever for this showdown. Yo, is this an impact or a drill? What is this? At any rate, which 12 volt max impact was the winner of this TTR? We watched all two hours of this Makita and Bosch shootout. Somehow, Milwaukee didn't come out on top. Go see the results for yourself at VCG Construction on YouTube. Milwaukee wasn't phased by taking an L at VCG's TTR this week, powering through another defeat with a red hot dose of heavy metal and fire corporate YouTube promo style. We gave you your first look at the M18 1 and 3 quarter inch SDS Max rotary hammer at Stafta 2018 last month, demonstrating a test of its new wrist saving auto stop E clutch. And while it's still not yet available for purchase, don't just sit there in sadness when you can get jacked up on the fire and fury of anticipation fueled adrenaline. Tito, Michael, Juan, and the rest of the Tradesman 5 give you an unbiased testimonial, declaring this to be the best cordless SDS rotary max hammer drill not yet on the market and that type of impartial reporting is good enough for us. You can get pumped up for concrete cordless drilling by watching Milwaukee's latest video on YouTube. Craftsman clawed its way out of the grade this year with a new line of power tools and equipment and narrowly avoided becoming a homeless tool brand squatting in the bombed out retail apocalypse of a Sears hardware store. Looks like these efforts are finally coming to fruition as new Craftsman tools are starting to hit the hands of tradesmen all over the country. First up, we were introduced this week to Tool Teardowns on YouTube, who shared two videos of the new Craftsman 20 volt impact wrench. Now his reviews include hands-on tests, specs, price, and a comparison to another but Stanley Black & Decker brand in bright yellow, which leads us to his second video, tearing apart the tool he just bought to see if there's a DeWalt inside. This guy is talented, entertaining, and needs more subscribers. Remind you of anybody? No. Go see the Tool Teardown at Tool Teardown on YouTube. Continuing the Craftsman rollout, your friendly neighborhood construction swine, Toolpig, got his hooves on the new Craftsman 20 volt cordless 7 and a quarter inch sliding miter saw. He notes it's pretty cool for $199 with a battery and charger, but like a lot of other miter saws out of the box, he wasn't impressed with the included blade. So he tossed in a Tenryu and had better results. The sliding miter features 3800 RPM, single bevel up to 47 degrees, and a lightweight design at just under 22 pounds of cordless convenience. You can dive into the comment sections on Toolpig's Instagram posts to ask him any question you might have about the new Craftsman, and how those global materials are performing after being assembled in the US of A. America's favorite jack of all trades, Jimmy DiResta, has been dropping experiential nuggets of power tool knowledge on us this month in his new educational YouTube video series sponsored by Lowe's. DiResta takes his cat shopping, like any sane tool junkie would do, and then brings the tools back to a shop where he proceeds to dish out tips and tricks to get the most out of your new tool. There are three videos available so far that cover miter, circular, and recip saws. Whether you're a seasoned contractor with years of power saw wisdom, or just a new homeowner trying to avoid losing a limb, you're sure to find value in the knowledge of DiResta. You can find the entire series at Jimmy DiResta on YouTube. All right, guys, it's Friday and the weekend is upon us. So if you're looking for something to do with all your spare time in your garage or in your shop, Sarah's got some ideas for you. Sarah? 
With Christmas right around the corner, I wanted to give you guys some ideas for homemade gift projects. And no, not ones made out of pipe cleaners and popsicle sticks. Like all worthwhile projects, these require power tools. First up, for the sugar addict in your life, we take a look at Pneumatic Addict's wooden candy dispenser. Alicia takes some standard 1x3 walnut boards and a little bit of acrylic and creates a fun sugar-filled homemade gift that your friends and family would actually like. My only change would be that it would make it big enough for a little bit more candy. You can find the plans at buildsomething.com or watch the video at Pneumatic Addict on YouTube. Next up, John the Builder Malecki builds the coolest wooden toy monster truck I have ever seen. John takes a large chunk of white oak and manages to get every piece he needs for the truck body. Now, we all know every monster truck would not be complete without giant tires, huge smokestacks, a personalized tailgate, and old Glory herself flying off the back. So that is exactly the details that John makes sure to include. The results are beyond cool. Go see exactly how he did it at John Malecki on YouTube. Finally, what would the holidays be without music? Crappy, that's what. So for my last project, I choose Crafted Workshop's battery-powered Bluetooth speaker. Johnny takes a speaker kit and some absolutely beautiful walnut and shows us how to build a classic looking speaker box with rechargeable batteries so you can bring the Christmas music with you wherever you go. It's a really fun build to watch as it covers a lot of woodworking techniques and tools, but it also includes a lot of creative electronics as well. If you think you're up to the challenge, head over to Crafted Workshop on YouTube. Well, that's it for me this week. If you find a project that you think I need to feature on the show, go ahead and send it to me in an email at projects at coptool.com. I'll see you guys next week. If you're already invested in both DeWalt T-Stack and the Tough System, do you really need more DeWalt stuff to stack in your system? Of course you do. That's why you hashtag everything with DeWalt Tough so that your family knows exactly what to get you for Christmas. But if you're still not sure which DeWalt job site radio to put at the top of your Amazon wish list this year, don't worry. Brian from Workshop Attic has you covered. He uses all of his favorite heavy metal hits from the early 2000s to dive into the features of each radio. After naming the Tough System radio the winner of the sound quality head-to-head, -head, Brian dives into the importance of the other features. Why? Because he believes each model works for different reasons. To find out which option sounds best to him, be sure to check out his video at Workshop Addict on YouTube. You may think yourself clever for buying your tools and kits. Well, our friends over at Ohio Power Tool have pushed the kit concept to new levels by handing out tools in buckets during their 12 Buckets of Christmas promotion. From now through Christmas, they're giving away an OPT bucket overflowing with random tool goodness every day. Each morning, they post a new video featuring the specific tools in the bucket for that day. We've seen two so far, and they're nothing short of brilliant. But don't cast your vote for best bucket just yet. Sarah and I will be presenting our own buckets next week. What? Uh, I'm, I mean, we'll be presenting an OPT bucket on their channel. Sorry. Head on over to OhioPowerTool.com to get entered and follow them on Facebook for your daily update. Instead of his typical pop culture build, Bob from I Like to Make Stuff posted another educational video, this time explaining to us what all those icons mean on a multimeter. He takes time to explain what a multimeter can measure, describing each symbol commonly on the dial, which port to use with each different application, and which spot on the dial to start before measuring. Did you get all that? Good, because there will be a quiz later. Actually, come to think of it, I think I finally understand my own Southwire multimeter video that I published a couple weeks back. I literally went to an electrical trade school for answers, when all I had to do was watch this three minute video from Bob. Well, still had a fun trip. You should probably watch both videos and Bob's first in the links below. The misfits over at Tools in Action send us over to John Miller's garage again this week, this time to review the rigid R45-171, the smallest and most portable 10-inch table saw in their lineup. After spending a few months with the saw, John comes away extremely impressed with the little guy, only complaining about a lack of stability. He shows off the power and ergonomics, says some other stuff about the saw, but come on, how are you not addressing the unicycle in the background? We have so many questions, the least of which being, can you ride it? Followed closely by, why would you not review the saw from the unicycle? We just don't get you, John. We love your reviews, but you're a mystery, bud. Or a unicycle riding crime fighter at night. That's my best guess. You can see John, the rigid, and the unicycle at Tools in Action on YouTube. It's Tools Day, gang, or at least it was a few days ago. But thanks to the modern miracle that we call YouTube, you can relive Tools Day over and over again with Kyle from RR Buildings. 
This week he takes us on a tour of his top five favorite circular saws. And while this isn't a comparo, it's more of a short review of the five circ saws that his team use every day as they build metal buildings. The collection includes two of Milwaukee's, including a six and a half inch and five and three inch metal saw, two Makita's, including a seven and a quarter inch and the subcompact, and finally, the DeWalt flexible rear handle. This unusual collection of saws has a unique use for Kyle and his team, and he covers them all. It's not only interesting to look into his tool collection, but consequently, at an inside look at how his team works. There's lots to learn from this video, and you can find it at RR Buildings on YouTube. Finally today, we put on our big boy pants, ignore our survival instincts, and boldly head back into the tool review zone. This week, Clint posted no less than four tool review videos, covering everything from a DeWalt 20 volt grinder to a Bosch laser level. Now, we actually worked our way backward through his new uploads and were concerned to find high quality, well thought out and insightful content with total lack of green screen shenanigans we have grown to expect. Then we got to his review of the new Husky 52 inch industrial toolbox, where we found Clint shrunk down like a Moranis kid, asking the cabinet, can I touch you? There it is. It's safe to say Clint continues to educate while he entertains, and his channel is easily worth the sub at Tool Review Zone on YouTube. All right, guys, before we go, we have one more special guest all the way from Ohio Power Tool. Ladies and gentlemen, Jay Amstutz. Yeah. All right. Woo. Jay, tell us what you have in this big bucket of America. Well, as you know, the tradition goes, there's 12 buckets of Christmas, mm -hmm. but this is the super mm -hmm. secret 13th bucket of Christmas. The 13th bucket, how lucky. Uh, who is this one for though? This is exclusively for Cop Tool. For our, for our for, viewers? For all the viewers. Oh, you guys are lucky. All right, so Jay, tell us what we have in here. All right, so we have Bosch Flexi Click. Ooh. We've got some good rigid stuff, Venture Gear. Those expenses. Southwire, Ooh. hemp wheels don't smoke these. Oh, this must and be for our tradesmen. All kind of, all kind of good is, stuff. Wow. So, all you guys have got to do is go to coptool.com slash contest to win all of this amazing gear. Jay, thank you so much. So, if they want to get in on the other 12 buckets of Christmas, the original 12, where do they go? Go to Ohio Power Tool. There'll be a big banner on the on the top and you, right. you can click that, but first you want to probably buy a bunch of stuff. Yeah. So, we got yeah. Bosch, we got Milwaukee, we've Not got Makita. Not connected to the actual contest. Ridge. Not winners. at all. You have to buy to win. But, but we've got amazing people that you like can talk to on the phone. Karma thing. All right. You know, we've got. That's, that's, that's enough. We've got. That's enough pitching. We can sell some more tools and rental. We can repair stuff. We can. So that's gonna do it for us this week, guys. Uh, before we go, though, I wanted to ask you, your series on Inside Looks. Yep. Last week we saw um, the Wobble Light, which yep. is really great, but what else do you guys do you guys kind of have in the... In the hopper? In the, in the hopper. hopper, we've got the uh, DeWalt Brushless Jigsaw uh, Inside Look coming up. We look at both of the 20 volt max uh, models, the one from 2012. In six years. Yeah. Shockingly. And Neither one are barrel grips, though, right? So they don't matter. That is correct. This is uh, something you don't want to tune in and watch. Right. Or it's waste your time. I'm not. Uh, and then the three inch cutoff tool from Milwaukee as well. We've got that oh, one cool. coming up. Maybe saws all action. Awesome. So uh, a lot of cool stuff in the hopper. So awesome. And you've got something in the hopper as well. You've got uh, we do. some cop tool gear. We do. So people have been asking for us for this for like forever. So coming this next week, we're going to be offering. Um, uh, who is it, through Teespring, I guess. You'll see it right along underneath our videos. will automatically show up on YouTube. Somewhere down there, unless you're on Facebook and you're seeing nothing right now. Yeah. Um, otherwise, we'll have a bunch of um, like t-shirts, hats, mugs, thongs, everything you need for the job site. So with the uh, Coptool logo, so we'll see. We'll get Killer. this stuff. Yep, awesome. So be sure you don't miss any of that stuff by liking and subscribing to us. We really appreciate it. We appreciate that support. And uh, I we, think that's about it. We had a winner. Oh my gosh, I forgot. Saul. Saul Carmona, congratulations. Congratulations, Saul buddy. Saul the, the Bosch Bulldog from last week. That's right. So, Saul, congratulations. We've got, again, hit our contest link, coptool.com slash contest, and uh, that's going to do it. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.